Hello, welcome to Lauto Programming. I am Kausar. This is session 3 of Java Calculator project. In today's session, we want to implement BC Calculator module of our project. However, before watching this video, I strongly recommend you to watch session 2 of this video series. Because in session 2, we created main menu of the application. Ok, this code we wrote in session 2 of this video series and it is responsible to create main menu of the application. However, we are going to write new code for BC calculator module. And here first you want to write simple condition. If main menu result equal BC calculator that means if user select BC calculator from this drop down menu, then you want to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operation. For this job, first we want to display prompt to the user for entering first number. Here we want to take simple variable. For example, string first number equal J option pane dot show input dialog and here you want to use simple overloaded version which takes only one parameter for this parameter we want to pass message for example please enter first number so after that we want to create array for storing operators here we want to take simple array for example string operators equal let's insert some elements for example addition subtraction multiplication and division very nice thereafter you want to create menu like this for operators as well simple here first you want to declare simple variable for example object operator equal j option pane dot show input dialog and here you want to use another overloaded version of this method which takes seven parameters like parent component message title message type icon selection values and initial selection value at this time for parent component we want to pass null parameter thereafter you want to pass message for example please select an operator. Let's pass title as well. For example, option. So, after that we want to specify message type. For example, J option pane dot information message. Okay, thereafter we want to specify icon. And here we put null parameter. Because for this dialog box we want to display default icon. Thereafter for selection values parameter, we want to pass operators array. And for initial selection value parameter, we also pass this array. Here we want to specify zero index. However, thereafter we want to display second prompt to the user. First we want to take simple variable. For example, string second number. Once again we are going to use show input dialog method. And here you want to write J option pane dot show input dialog. Let's pass simple message as well. For example, please enter second number. So thereafter we want to change first number and second number data into double format. For this job we want to use parsing concept in Java. And here you want to declare simple variable for example double temp first number equal double dot parse double of first number okay parse double method change first number data from string format into double format so let's change second number data as well here we want to take simple variable for example double temp second number equal double dot parse double of second number 
So, thereafter we want to write some logic for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operations. For this logic we want to use conditional operator. And here you want to take simple variable. For example, object basic calc result equal. Here you want to take simple condition. If operator dot equals addition then you want to perform addition operation. Simple. Temp first number plus temp second number. Good. After that for another operations we want to copy this statement from here. So here first we want to change operator. For example subtraction and multiplication and division. Let's change these operators here also. For example subtraction, multiplication and division. And finally we want to display invalid input message for invalid operator. So finally we want to display result on the screen. For this job we want to use show message dialog method because this method is responsible to display message on the screen. Simple J option pane dot show message dialog. Okay, this method also has many overloaded versions. But we want to use simple overloaded version of this method, which takes only two parameters, like parent component and message. For parent component, we are going to pass null pointer. And for message first, we want to display temp first number variable. Thereafter, we want to display operator. And then you want to display value of temp second number variable. After that we want to display equal operator. And finally we want to display basic calc result. Let's copy this variable from here. Ok, our job is finished. Let's run our application. Ok, main menu of the application is open. From this drop down menu we want to select basic calculator option. And here we want to enter first number, for example 10. Thereafter we want to select operator from this drop down menu, for example addition. After that we want to enter second number, for example 3. Ok, you are seeing the output 10 plus 3 equal 13. Because in this time first condition evaluated true. So let's run this project once again. Once again I want to select basic calculator option. Let's enter first number. For example 3. Let's select operator. For now we want to select multiplication operator. Thereafter we want to enter second number. For example 5. Ok you are seeing the output 15. Remember that instead of conditional operator you can use if else statement also. But in if else statement code will be lengthy. And this is your choice. For this logic you can use if statement or conditional operator. However, end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.